we will discuss here that uh, today about the character set or the character set so we understand in c++ when we use this language programming language to write any program so we use characters to write uh, any program any instructions so what we will do what is that character set we understand first character set means it is combination of combination or group of group of characters symbols or digits okay that means those all characters alphabets digits or symbols we will use in this programming language here in that is known as character set so we will use here alphabet so alphabet which one capital a to capital z we will use alphabet small a to small z so digits is 0 to 9 okay and the symbols so symbols are there that all the symbols we are using in a keyboard that is available except few only that is generally we use here that symbols that we can use at the rate star divide modulus comma semicolon colon small bracket curly bracket that means body bracket block bracket that is this one dot operator that uh, all the symbols less than greater than okay hash okay tied operator that uh, here that many more that plus minus now that forward slash backslash this all and uh, dollar underscore okay these are all symbols that we are using in c plus plus as a character set <coughs> So that means we will use these all characters, digits or symbols to write in a program like an English language we are writing that statement in English. Now we discuss about that one simple program of C++ and after that we will understand how that C++ programs converted into that different forms and it executes also. That we understand about that C++ different simple program first. So now we discuss about that simple C++ program. So first, programs. So you understand here that when we are discussing that first program, what we will write that we will write C++ programs. If you are having any idea about that any programming language, previously like in the class 5, QBasic if you have studied, so what we have done in there, we have written three or more lines, four lines, five lines, which is the number, line number 5, 10, 15, 10, 20, 30, 40, like this. And in a previous classes, if you have studied that, you will understand that each line is that their statements, their instructions. In a C++ programming language, what is that important that we will discuss? But first program I write here. Here we have to write that hash, include. Here we write IO input output stream str stream dot h. This is header file. I will discuss all the things, but at first we understand what is written here and what is the purpose. We will discuss that thing. You just understand only. I will explain that. And you can check in a computer also. Void main. And here we are writing that, suppose we have to display one message that we will write CLR, SCR, after that C out, and if we give the message here, welcome to the C++ language, welcome to C++ language. Here we write that C out, another line. 
Sanjeev sir HFS. It's raining, so that's why that uh, sound will come. That uh, outside rain, it's raining. So you understand that whatever I am giving here, that it will be better. Now, in this program, that we understand first and main important thing is that main method. That means we can see this main method having that starting and ending and opening close bracket. That means here. In this main method, each and every programming instructions we will write. Okay. In this main method, you understand here that uh, here is that curly bracket. This curly bracket between this curly bracket, opening and closing, we will write whatever we will write that statement will execute. Now, what's most important thing is that when C plus plus program you will write, the execution will starts the beginning. Execution of the program will start from the main method. So, whatever we have written in the main method, it will execute. So, we will write all the things according to the C++. Now, these two lines, we understand hash include, this is known as preprocessor directive. What is that? Preprocessor directive. Preprocessor directive. So, what is the purpose of this preprocessor directive? Processor, that means preprocessor directive. Before processing the program, it directs to the compiler that which type of work is going on to perform going on in this program, related to which type of Excel that is defined in C++ compiler. So, before processing, it will direct it to the compiler that which type of header file is here and which type of methods we need to hear. Here is that written IO stream dot H. Means IO stream, that means input, output, stream. Input, output, stream. That means all the actions, all the work related to the input, output operation or related to the input, output method that is defined in C++. If you need to use in our program, that we need to include this header file because header file contains header file contains number of library methods or classes that we use in our program here is that input output stream that means in a program if any input output operation in input or output operations are going to perform we need to include that header file in our program Second one is here written conio dot h. Conio means what is that we understand? Console input output. What is that? Conio. Console I O input output. That means input output. Now we understand what do you mean about the console input output? When any operation we perform in a programming in a, uh, with a computer. That uh, we understand first thing that we interact with the computer. We are giving the instructions to the computer with the help of keyboard. We are getting that instructions from the computer with the help of monitor screen. So these things that monitor is used for output purpose, input purpose that keyboard is used. So if any console that means a terminal that means input and output device related any operations is needed that we need to hear console input output that means when monitor screen is displaying the output and we need to display the output in a clear screen in a clean way that means our output of the our program only it will show on the screen not that previously done or previously output so in this situation that monitor screen will be cleared monitor screen will be clean before showing our program's output so that means when console related any type of input output operation performing that we need to use console input output conio dot h input output stream that means in a program in a program if we need to perform any actions to take the input from the keyboard to display the any message to the monitor that we are using here c out what is the purpose of the C out? C out will display the output 
whatever written in double quotes that will be displayed onto the monitor screen. So that's why C out is used. So output related operation is performing. So that's why IO stream. Now one thing more here that I want to discuss that C++ is having that CLR SCR. CLR SCR. What is that CLR SCR? Clear the screen. C L E A R. Clear. Sorry. Clear the screen. Okay. So clear the screen. CLR SCR. Clear screen. So when we need to clear the screen before showing the output, we will use before this output statement CLR SCR. Get CH, we are using for that taking that input characters, but here is the purpose to input any hidden character, any hidden character. Okay, that means hidden character when it will take input. So on monitor screen, when you will press from the keyboard any key, you on the monitor screen it will not display. That means user will press the key then it will wait there at that execution time of that gets here so computer will wait because you are you need to input many character from the keyboard and that character will not shown on the monitor screen so that that's why we are using this get ch for showing that output and this output will be shown on the screen till that when user will not press any character so that means get ch at the end we use that purpose is that to input any hidden character but we are using the program as a purpose to wait or to pause that means to wait or show the output of program that means program ke output ko monitor screen par dikhai देते रहे जब तक ये इनपुट करेक्टर ये एग्जीक्यूट नहीं कर जाए बिकॉज दिस लास्ट लाइन विल बी एग्जीक्यूटेड आफ्टर दैट नो इन स्टेटमेंट सो प्रोग्राम विल टर्मिनेट एंड यू विल कम आउट फ्रॉम द सी प्लस प्लस एग्जीक्यूशन पोर्शन सो इट विल डिस्प्ले द आउटपुट एंड इट विल वेट फॉर द इनपुट एनी कैरेक्टर एंड यू विल गिव एनी कैरेक्टर दैट विल बी हिडन सो इट विल वेट फॉर द इनपुट बट वी विल शो दैट दीज टू आउटपुट्स now we understand by few things that if we execute this program what we will see the output so whatever extra is here written that i erase this on that here that i have given that all that linings for your understanding now you see here that what is written here that as a output here it double quotes will be here c out double quotes welcome to the c++ language like this when this program will execute actually the first output screen will be displayed that means this line will execute and before this this line will execute so line by line this first line will execute so what will happen that here is that suppose monitor screen and in this monitor screen so clear the screen that means whatever is that it will be clean and cursor will blink here okay next uh, that this line will execute that message is there welcome to c++ language so it will display here welcome to c++ language after that here if we use here that second line so you, if i have not written here in the so it will continue that sanjeev sir hfs and here if we put that in the in the in the line what is that in the in the line that means cursor will end here and cursor will come uh, new line and it will display in the new line sanjeev sir hfs okay so in such a way you will get that output in two lines because here written c out and here indel so if indel will execute that control will move from here to next line and you will get the output like this 
okay now we will discuss about that c++ programming rules how to write the c++ programs which type of precautions which type of conventions we have to follow after that we will discuss about that c++ compiler and we will move to the next topic thank you